some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Devin and I are continuing our Vagrant Song series. Vagrant Song! Vagrant Song! Lowlands! Lowlands! <laughs> Lowlands! 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 Low. Alright, we are in Snowed In. Uh, there is no humanity threshold for this scenario. So, comfortably cold, I have become comfortably cold. Have you have have you ever felt such a freezing cold like this before? Have you have? Have you have? Have you have? That is red. Uh, yes, it was. Have you? And I think you've is you have. <laughs> have you have? Have you ever felt such a freezing cold like this before? Ain't nothing quite like it. Make your bones feel brittle. No time to think more on it, though. As your eyes focus on your breath, something smacks into the side of the train, crashing down. Another storm. Great. Or great. Clumps of snow start piling in from holes in the ceiling. And then the quiet hits. Can't even hear the train moving along the tracks no more. Any momentum you felt neath your feet's long gone now. After your ears stop ringing, you hear the sounds of shoveling, shouting, and singing from up ahead. Ho ho! More coal! More fire! Ho ho! But the voices are so distant that it's easy to think your mind's playing tricks on you again. More crashes. More snow. And the cold is making you feel like glass. Storm's gonna make it, storm's, uh, storm's gonna make it its way in soon. Wind's a howling. Wind's a howling. Gonna either freeze to death or crumple if you don't get out of here fast. So, we have to play some events there. Uh, there's a few things that we can investigate now, uh, in those areas. Um, but, yes. And, yeah, we have the snow, <gasps> snowden ritual, so keeping warm, give a lost soul some mittens. Bundle up. Oh, that's called keeping warm. Bundle up, give a lost skull, soul a scarf. These are the lost souls. I think that's their picture anyway. And shoveling, remove one snow in a single round for each vagrant that started the scenario. So, uh, all right. So remove two snow in a round. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yes, so breaking humanity tracks are not used for this scenario. At the start of each round, after resolving any events, add two snow in open spaces anywhere between the vagrant closest to the break side and the break side. Then move each Lost Soul two spaces, haunting as many vagrants as possible. Uh, lost Souls cannot end their move in the same space. I think... Okay. So do they... They don't have health, then? No. Nope, there's no break, no haint, or no humanity. Terrain effects. Snow. If snow is added to the terrain board, but there is no more snow, use the white uh, haint tokens. If further snow would be added but cannot, uh, then remove snow closest to the round side instead. During their turn, vagrants may use an iron nail, a candle, or salt to remove one adjacent snow instead of their default effects. Hey, we have a candle in snow. Or in salt, we could remove the... Oh, do you want to move up and just remove those two snows immediately? That works for me. In one round, yeah. Uh, so Frostbitten is the, the black token. Reduce the number of coins you can use uh, per turn by one to remove Frostbitten. End your turn adjacent to a candle. Frostbitten is also removed after suffering a wound. Okay. So that just limits how many actions we can do. We did not uh, use the say. Uh, we don't have the seance card. And victory. We need to reach the break side edge. Ooh. When a vagrant reaches the break side edge, remove them from the train board. Keep playing until all vagrants have reached the edge or have become westbound. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So scenario. There's no special effects. Um, White death. I'm guessing lost souls are gonna pop up by events. Okay, is gonna be is gonna be my guess. So so yeah, uh, but I guess we still yeah we we'll still pull from the bag because these don't look to be yeah they're not um lost soul. So we we will still draw this after our turn for their turn. Okay, but we are first. Uh, I have a candle. Um, that will be. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So I can, what's my move three? Yeah. So what I can do is I, I mean, I can do, I can do a move and I can have my pup move back and then investigate that one area. Okay. While it's there. Um, 
Like, let's see here. So does it? So I can just spin an item and the snow is gone. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Freeze. Yep. Free charge. Yep. Okay. I do have let loose so that I, if I went first, I could give you a little extra movement. Sure. That way you could maybe do a little more. Yeah, because you can break up movement and stuff. So if, then if I break that, then I can kind of at least move into the space. Okay. That's not horrible. Uh, so if I let loose, but let that's... Let loose! So it's like six minus... So with this on a five or six, I only get to roll two bones. So if I can... So if I do two on let loose, if I can at least get one success. <laughs> I have to get at least one success. And then I do one for move. That lets me three. So I get to move myself a little loose. Um, and then if I can get here, I can remove that one. That would give you a straight shot. Or maybe you oh, can go for that one. Actually, because you can't move over. Right. So I have to move a little more. With let loose, if I got one success, one, two, three, I can get there. But, but then I can't get to you. Or I can't get to this one. You can't move through me? Mm, oh, yeah, we can. But then if you're here, I... Oh, yeah, I guess if you remove that one, then I can go one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that should work. Okay. That, uh, that, that's assuming my let loose works. I was just hoping, like, move the dog back there so we can just investigate and then move and join us. Uh, should I even let loose or should I just do a basic move? Oh, um, uh, well, your basic move isn't Because if I let loose and I get a success, I can move everybody one. Yeah. Um... Well, the dog has to be on the spot. He has to be on the spot? Yeah, you have to be on it to investigate. Okay, well, I mean, I get to roll two, and then however many coins I put on it reduces the success value by um, that many tokens. So gotcha. it's a six or better, I, you know, Makes with, with one, better. you know, I get, it's a five to six, and then from a you know, two, I, four, five, or six, so it's 50% chance there, I get to roll two dice. Um, yeah. So um, possibly two movement. I for think everybody. extra movement because we have to book it to the break side. So any extra movement we can get mm -hmm. is going to be pretty good. Okay. Because um, I don't have any movement um, ability. That's all on you. Okay. So I'm I'm limited to what I got. Let me move one away from the target. We have no targets. Uh, sure. Um, I'll do a double let loose and a move, and then I'll just spend the salt when I get adjacent to a snow piece. Okay. Uh, so I'll do. I mean, let loose. Let's go, guys. Well, one. one. Not too bad. So uh, we all we all get to move one. We all get to move one. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I'll move up, and then I'll have pup move back. Okay. And then uh, so I spent those, and then I'll move do my move. One, two, three, and then I will remove that snow with assault. Okay. Well, bam. No. Snow. Why do you have them on the leather side? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Haint! Haint's turn. Bet you money those round seven, like those events seven, eight, nine are going to be really bad. Okay. There we go. Bam. Oh, well, it's an event. Mm -hmm. Six. Oh, would you look at that? A cameo necklace on a silver chain. Seems expensive. They say these things bring good fortune. Wonder if there's any truth to that. If this was drawn during Haint's turn, you pick it up, knowing it's not yours. Okay. As soon as it rests in your palm, you feel the sensation of eyes watching you. The next time you think to look at the necklace in your hand, it's gone. All lost souls of any? Uh, nope. Uh, move three, haunting, and then put event six back into the bindle. Never mind. <laughs> there are no lost souls. They took it. But that is fine. Because now it is... Uh, now it is my turn. So I'm, yeah, going to move, and then have my dog move, and then investigate. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Uh, I will use the candle to remove that. Okay. Sweet witch. Boom! Uh, all vagrants may immediately move two. Gain one coin to use during the camp phase. May immediately move two? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So that works. <coughs> uh, and then one, two. Okay. Okay. Follow me! Empress, I'll protect you! Oh, should you. I investigate that? That is completely up to you. You would have to get rid of the snow. I have to get rid of the snow? Yeah. How do you traditionally remove snow without an item? Uh, you can't. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you, you, it, the, it's only removed by um, iron nail, candle, or salt. Oh, so I'd have to search beforehand. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So that's pretty likely. They're the most common items. Yeah, but then you... But we have to get there to win. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Bam! Success! What did you find, puppy? 
Something big, ooh, is pointing out of a snow pile. Luggage, maybe? Investigate. Uh, yes. It's a black box with a copper label, which states, in case of emergency, used to blow stuff up. Nice. Keep the event token. Uh, treat it as a rummage token in every way. You may use the event token to remove all adjacent terrain. When the event token is discarded, all vagrants in the same train car as uh, you lose frostbitten and suffer a wound. Mm. Good deal. <laughs> anyway, so now he gets to uh, move his four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> like he had with dynamite stick in his mouth. <laughs> give it, give it, give it. Ah, 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 ah. All right. I got dynamite, baby. Bam. Iron nails. Blustery Gus. The vagrant who took the most recent turn moves one towards the round side. Uh, I can't. Because I took the most recent turn and you're in my way. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I think I would actually bump you. Okay. So. Uh, then all lost souls, if any, move one, haunting a vagrant, if possible. Well, there are none, because they're set off to the side. Okay. That was round one. Boom. Okie dokie. Yeah, they'll probably appear with those round markers. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, now it's our turn. Okay. In whatever way possible. Technically, I also have a rabbit's foot, which, which counts as an additional coin. Okay. Uh, my investigate's pretty good, but I really do like your let loose move. That's mm -hmm. pretty handy in this scenario. I'm all about beating people up and giving them humanity. Yeah. Um, it just reduces kind of like my move. Yeah. Um, it's like I could do it. What is it, though? Within range. It's anyone within four spaces of me. So one, two, three, four. I can't get to the dog this time. I can gotcha. Get, I can give you a buff. Five or six with two. I always get the two dice. Well, I mean, I, I can just... go first. Oh, but you have to go first, don't you? Um, first. No, I mean, if you go first, I can still move you. You just have to be within four spaces of me. So gotcha. where do you intend on ending? Um. Well, let's see. I'm already maxed out on stuff there. I could just do who's a good boy and have it, my dog move eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I could use, like, my entire turn. I might just get out of your way, but then I can blow up the the snow. Yeah. With the dynamite, then we'd pretty much make it. Mm-hmm. That would be too bad. Uh, yeah. I, I might do... Let's see here. One, two, three. I'd have to do two moves. And then investigate. If I did, if I did like, one let loose, and it's still two dice, on a five or six... There's, I mean, with two dice, it's not terrible odds. Mm. Um, so I can move three. If I get the one free move, one, two, three, I can get that. Do I have to be? I have to be on it, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Or adjacent. Uh, let's see. May only be taken mm. while in a space with an event token. Yes. Mm, okay. Uh, so I have to do like two successes. So I don't know if it's worth it. So I'd have to do two moves and investigate to get to four, which I think is probably just a safer bet. Yeah, go so, for it. I'll do two moves, and uh, uh, I will investigate. Okay. One, two. And I can break up moves? Yeah, so you can go, you have three movement total. Yeah. So then you can go one, two, investigate, then have one movement left. Okay, well, I have two movement here after that. Well, it's one, two, three, then four, five. Then you'll have one left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your movement's six, right? Or your movement's three, three yeah. but with the two, it's six. Okay. So, yeah, investigate. Investigate. Come on. Is. Yes. Oh, well, well you very much. I like exploded. It. Woo, baby. Well, I think you very successes. much found it. What number was that? Four? Stuck to the ice is a wadded up, wadded up cloth of some kind. You find some mittens, brown and tan. Hey. They remind you of your grandpa. Keep the event token. Treat it as a rummage token in every way. You may use this event token while adjacent to a lost soul to complete the ritual of keeping warm. Ah, oh, my grandpa used to have jacket mittens like these. All right. Well, so we give that to a guy and we'll give We them... need a lost, lost soul and we'll complete a ritual. We could also wait for them to show up and then try and like find all the stuff and give it to them. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of booking it to the end, we might actually... All right, so they got a rabbit's foot against the wind. All vagrants move two towards the round side. Ah. I'm guessing that's also... Oh. By... I need to look her up. Because there was some that's like, 
Uh, the pup and run are considered the same vagrant. Both pups are affected by a single effect. Only the runaway is affected. Good deal. Uh, no lost souls. That was it. Against the win. Oh, how how that read again for your effect? It's if if the um. Uh, they're considered the same if both the pup and runaway are affected by a single event. Only the runaway is affected. Single event. Oh, so like a single. Sorry, a single effect. Okay, so if you're both getting attacked by the same attack, you're not taking double damage then. Uh, yes. Yeah, that actually does sound correct. So I was making it harder on myself. Yeah, quite a bit harder. Uh, yeah. So essentially, it still kind of works in the in the favor of the Haints. It's just, yeah, I'm not getting double damage. It's just now they have two options. If okay. I'm too far away, they'll target the dog. And okay, yeah, so they, you still have, like, two targets, but you're not taking double damage. They're both getting right. affected. Yes. So, okay. And you were. So. I was. I'm like, man, I keep dying. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that was that. So now it is my turn. Okay. Stupid bitch-ass wind. Okay, well, that changes things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't even make it. I can't even make it, man. Um. Well, you want to nuke that one? Grab the two. Uh, no, because I still have to yeah, destroy like the terrain, and I have no way of doing so. So I'm just gonna. Well, you have the explosive. I'm not wasting it on that. I'm gonna do it on this. These. That's fair. Uh, but I will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I will do who's a good boy and move the pup one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Uh, no Haints. <laughs> Come on, boy! <laughs> and now it's the Haints' turn. I might literally look up patchwork drawstring bags just mm -hmm. so I can get one bigger than than this thing. I have some uh, um, that I got from campaign coins when I bought there. I have, like, a shit ton of drawstring yeah. bags. Yeah, we might have to do that because this is just very annoying. I just like the patchwork aspect. Mm. <laughs> but, I mean... Oh, and an apple! Tra I'm trapped under ice! Add snow in the same space as a vagrant who took the most recent turn. Mm. Oh. Nope, nope, <laughs> not a coffin. I died. For as long as that snow remains in that space, that vagrant cannot move. During that vagrant's turn, they may only use salt to remove this snow. That's very annoying. <laughs> okay. I'm trapped under rice. Did the round move? It oh. will now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Seven. Seven. The wind picks up behind you, but when you turn back, there's a new face, and they don't look friendly. I'm not friendly. Add one lost soul. This guy looks less friendly. Uh, to any space adjacent to the round side edge. Boop. I'm coming for you. Remove event seven, then add event zero uh, to round two. Oh, I see. I forgot because they they uh they don't cycle. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't think I was gonna need that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was the only fucking one that I didn't pull out. All right. Oh man, he might come lick our butts. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see if I can get out of here. I'll uh, let me go first. Cause I need to. <sighs> I need to rummage. Oh, but then I have to figure. I'm just going to have to do that. And draw three. You know what? And then, fuck it. Then I'll do that just in case I do get some. I could only remove it with salt. And I didn't! Really? Only salt? That's what it said. During that vagrant's turn, they may only use salt to remove the snow, but mm. other vagrants may still use iron nails, candles, or salt. Well, I guess I'll fucking take a candle. No. Nah, yeah. Okay. Your turn. Okay. I guess that... Oh, wait, hold on. We have a cycle. Uh, all vagrants adjacent to snow or a lost soul gain frostbitten. Frostbitten. Now I have one less... Uh, action. Yay. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I have a candle to remove that frostbitten effect. Yeah. My turn? Yeah. Okay. I'll do... Um, so you can still use all the, the necessary stuff. But. Okay. I guess I'll do a move and two search and a move, I guess. 
And maybe I could help you. Yeah. Get you moving and grooving. I'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> ice traps around my feet. Oh. You have to kind of just like shocker it. Shocker it. Yeah. Stimulate the bag. Okay. Well, you got either or that allows oh, you to. Okay. Um, but I have to toss my apple, I guess. Uh, where does it go? I think I think all discarded always go to the cycle track. Okay. Um, but if you, <laughs> if you use the candle, you can. I oh, know. I think you discard it. You may use an iron nail candle or salt to remove one instead of their default effects. Never mind. Okay. Neat. Candle. Boom. And that snow is gone. Does it also remove your frostbitten? No, I thought it was going to, but because you don't, you I you don't use it for its traditional effect. Mm. I'm not adjacent to it. Um. Okay, I believe that was my whole turn. Yeah. All right. So, uh, haint. Haint. Draw, draw a token. Oh, draw, see what they do. For, draw for the haint. Literally, not an apple. <laughs> like anything but an apple. Yeah, that's the one that gets you stuck. That's what I'm gonna draw. It's salt, salt that I was looking for. So that is uncomfortably numb. Did they literally just do Pink Floyd? Like, did they? They, they got trapped. Oh no, trapped under ice is Metallica. Com uncomfortably numb is Pink Floyd. They got comfortably cold. Anyway, add one snow in an open space adjacent to the vagrant closest to the break side. So a snow is going right there. Okay, now we are in round four. This is eight. This storm ain't giving way. The wind is picking up something fierce. Can't wait this one out. When my daddy used to beat me something fierce. <laughs> uh, can't wait this one out. Gotta keep moving. Each vagrant must either discard any rummage token or move a number of spaces equal to their move value towards the round side. Keep event eight on the round track. Hmm. That sucks. You can either move three spaces back or get rid of the, the I gloves. Wanna, I want to keep the gloves. Okay. I knew it was it was too good to be true. Yeah. Because like, essentially you would. So I have to move towards the dog. And yeah, you'd bump him. I bump him the whole time. I think I can't so. Move him through him. Um. Because I didn't end in his space. Uh. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, it's only when they end in your space. Okay. I'm trying to keep him all facing the king to me. All right. Well. Let's do something. Let me go first so I can blow up that snow and hopefully do some. So I'm going to use a candle and get rid of my frostbite because that's very annoying. And then I will move. I'm actually going to move two and then do who's a good boy again. So yeah, I'm going to go one, two, three, one, and then blow it up. Do you want to... If you move here, you could blow up both of these. That's true. Actually, I think I can just place it wherever. Um, keep tree as rummage. You may use the event token to remove all adjacent terrain. Yeah, you're right. That's probably better off. Then I'll blow it up. And then all adjacent would be these. Boom. And, and that box there, too? Do you, are no, diagonal's not considered adjacent. Okay. You know, it was here. One, two, three, one, two, and I have one more move. And then who's a good boy? I'll just have him run up to me. Okay. All right. And Haint, will you hand me the bag, please? Haintful. Not an apple. I don't want to be stuck again. Does anything make them move? Yeah, a lot of stuff. They just haven't. Mm. They weren't available when they were moving. And then... Candle! Lost in the storm. The vagrant took the most recent turn. Must either discard a rummage token. I can't. Or I'm frostbitten again. Uh, or, oh, discard or gain frostbitten or suffer a wound. I will suffer Taking a, a wound. wound. Then all lost souls move to. Like, is a wound this, though? Not a humanity? They mm, get to flip a card. You're right. <clears throat> I will become frostbitten. <laughs> I'll become frostbitten. Okay, your turn. Okay. Um. Da -da 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 yeah, I, I, I was going to say. They... I don't want to move back. I'm kind of hoping he catches up to us. He, they have their max move of three. Any any effect that causes them to move, the most they can move is three. So it's going to take them a while to get to us. 
I might go back just to see if I can give him the gloves and see what. <laughs> Here! <laughs> just to see what kind of benefit. Because we'll, we'll unlock a, a thing for it. We do have to. Everyone does have to get there, but. What if you did your let loose? No, I can't reach gonna... anybody. Not you guys. No, I meant <laughs> to get closer to him, but yeah, it's going to take two move. You can put I all just... three movement. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, Yeah, two, just three. two movement, and I'm there. One, two, and then... three, four, five, six. Yeah, two yeah. movement. And then, oh, wait, wait. And then two you movement. can do your third action as movement, so you can be like, here's your gloves! And then you can run back. True. Because um... there's no humanity or anything, so it's just us. Um, so it's just a cost. Give him the gloves. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that way I could get away from him. Yeah, so we'll do that. Two, three. There's two movements. And then I'll give him the gloves. Nice. Warm up, buddy. Some mittens. Read moment 78. The lost soul smiles nice and wide. <gasps> His icy blue face turns rosy red. Did you find my brothers, Kurt and Oscar? Haven't seen either of them since the avalanche came toppling down. Kurt's scarf should be around here somewhere. Remove the lost soul that received the mittens from the train board. Um, the vagrant who performed the ritual heals a wound and loses frostbitten. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Again, and experience. Go move around. event zero one space up. On the round track, gain one coin to use in the camp phase. Nice. So that's so the other one. The I think that's the most up. rituals we've completed. That's usually we only we average about two, one or two. Okay. All right, uh, and know. then you can move three. I want to go for two. I have to rummage. I'm gonna search five for I might sure. Try it. I'm gonna try. Okay. Let's see how fucked we get. And then turn. Iron Nails, Blustery Gus. The Vagrant took the most recent turn, moves one towards the round side. Uh, you actually can't, because that... Yeah, because of that, um... So do I move away from it? It says towards the round side, but you are stuck in a... Let's see. Move, move, move. That's moving them. Towards, when effects say to move towards some of the target, the character moves in the direction of the point of reference, so long as they're not breaking any other movement rules. No, you can't, because okay. there's terrain there. And for no reason can we move in, unless we have an effect that says otherwise. All right. Uh, so, round five. We are in event nine. Zero is going to be like, end. You fucking die. Probably. You know, it might be, actually. I'm not even going to look at it. Through the holes in the roof made by the hail and storm up above, your eyes catch the zigzags of lightning. In the flashes, a smile face appears. Smiling face appears. <clears throat> Add one lost soul in any space adjacent to the break side edge. Then remove event nine. Ooh, break side. Yeah, we'll do this guy. <laughs> <coughs> um, I actually want to move him there. And then that's removed. Okay, now it's our turn. Okay. Pop these bad boys off. You go first. Or you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Okay. Um, let's do. So I'm gonna have to move to get into it. So I have to do a rummage and a move and an investigate. <laughs> yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have to rummage. And you have to hope you draw. I mean, move. you have a you have a relatively high chance of getting something that'll melt it. Yeah, and investigate. Yeah, it relatively. It is yeah, the most the, common items. True, yeah. The apple and the rabbit's foot do nothing for you. But, knowing my luck. Hey, got it. So I rummaged. I'll use it to remove the snow. Okay. Then I move. Yep. You want to give me the iron nails? Yes. <clears throat> then I investigate. Come on. Yes! Yeah, you, Thank man, God. You're really, you're really finding them. <laughs> you're rolling well on the one that doesn't involve combat. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, number two? Yes. In the corner of the train car, you notice something untouched by the cold and glowing red. It looks like coal. Glows red like coal, but ain't setting the place on fire like coal. Keep the event token. It's a rummage. When rummaging, you may discard this event to draw and keep up to two candles. You may give one of those candles to an adjacent vagrant. Nice. Not horrible. Not the scarf. Yeah, not... I wouldn't say worth the turn loss there. <laughs> But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, okay. Will you draw for your... Can I, so I can't finish off my move? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. So I, that was one that I investigated yeah. that I can do more? Yep. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You, 
This is one of those, it's like either movement is it or the ones where you can break it up. Mm -hmm. I see why games don't have you break up movement because then it, you can get lost and be like, wait, okay, how many turns is it? You mm -hmm. know. All right, draw for your haint. My haint. Ow. Is he going to tickle my rectum? Scandal! The vagrant who took the most recent turn must either discard a rummage token, gain frostbitten, or suffer a wound. <sighs> then all lost souls, if any, move to. And to heal wounds, it costs us a coin, right? Yeah. And if we don't heal it, it's gone forever. Um, no. The only time it's ever gone is if you're ever westbound. You lose the skill that you cover your westbound with. Mmm. It just stays wounded. Okay. I'm not short of something that heals a wound, which would be like drawing an apple or something. Yeah, apple heals a wound. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and Frostbitten is like a lost turn. You lose it. A coin. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'll take Frostbitten. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then he moved two. So, yeah, so now you're down to two coins. And Frostbitten can be removed. Oh, it was also removed after suffering a wound. All right. Ew, yeah, so if you're, multi if you're Frostbitten completely, then... Um... Oh, never mind, never mind. You can't stack Frostbitten. Thank okay. God. I was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, ew. <laughs> okay, my turn. I'm going to have my puppy do something. One. And then investigate. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a four. It's a four. <laughs> Success. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a not a success. <laughs> Just going on the bloopers reel. <laughs> Interference. Oh, wait, actually, I think he gets it on the three. He does. I put it on the wrong thing. Yay, look, he found it. Five. Looks like someone lost their clothes. Oh, hell yeah. Probably not the best time for that. You find a scarf. Way too scarf. long, but checkered in various colors. And just as you pick it up, the frost falls away. Keep the event token. Um, treat it as rummage. Yep, so we can do this to fulfill that. Nice. And then I'm going to have him go one, two, three. Okay, will you hand me the, the bindle? I actually get all the rituals this round. Right? make it to him, which I probably can. Not an apple. It is salt. Oh, bam. Add one snow in an open space adjacent to the vagrant closest to the break side. Ooh. Right there. Okay. Round six. Nothing. So, yeah. Our turn. Okay. Well, shit. That's stupid. And then we remove frostbitten from... It gets... Uh, you, you have to be next to a candle. Next to a candle. Oh, yeah, didn't... What would my glowing... It can turn into two candles? Uh, yes, it can. Um, what was that, number two? Yeah, when rummaging, you can discard it to draw and keep up to two candles. You may give one of those candles to an adjacent vagrant. Okay. This candle's actually right here, and that stays, because it hasn't been affected. Oh, just by being adjacent? Yeah. It's just gone? Okay, cool. All right, uh, yeah, I'll do a... But I probably can't spend it this round, but I could remove it. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'd end there. So you got two moves. Okay. And I'll... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm adjacent. Nice. No more frostbitten. No more frostbitten. Shake it up. And I have to do the rummage action to even break it apart. Yes. Iron Nails. The Vagrant took the most recent turn, moves one towards the round side. Ah! <laughs> if this was uh, the forest, we would have engulfed in flames. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, then all lost souls move one. Whoop. He's getting closer! I don't want okay, so my turn. I only have two. Um, I'd like to just remove that snow, if at all possible. Uh... Because one, two, three. I mean, I guess I could. Oh, no, I'll actually. I'm going to go one, two, three, one. Give him the Hand scarf. It <laughs> Here! Uh, oh, yep. Read moment 79. 79. Okay. He wraps the scarf tightly around his face, covering everything but his joyful eyes. Those poor, 
Boiler men did everything they could when the avalanche hit, but there was no food, no escape. For days, did you find my brothers, Oscar and Bernie? Bernie's mittens should be around here somewhere. The vagrant who performed the ritual heals a wound and loses frostbitten if they currently have the hey. paint effect. Uh, yay! And move event zero up one space. Okay, yeah. Zero's definitely terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's like... And then... Oh, well, fuck. I thought he was going to leave. He didn't. Because 78, I think the guy left. Mm-hmm. Um... <clears throat> nope, he totally doesn't leave. Um... So then I will go back. Okay. Haint effect. Uh. Iron nails, which will cause a cycle. Vagrant took the most recent turn, moves one towards the round side, which I do. Then he moves one. What are those black pits? They're just obstacles. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so then we have... Oh, no, we don't have a cycle yet. It's just... One, two, three, four. Okay. So now we are back to round one. Okay, fucking Yeah, we got to book it now, yeah. Um, oh, hey, I have all three. We have all three actions back. Uh, I was going to rummage. I can, well, if I oh, if yeah, I yeah. rummage, I get a guaranteed candle. That's true. Um, and then you can move here and then melt it. Then I yeah. can book it. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so one rummage, yep. double move. So, guaranteed two candles. So, I just dig out two candles, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll have to get rid of... Oh, yeah, because you spend that event token. Yeah. Neat. <clears throat> cool. And then, one, two, three, four, five. Was this three in there? Think yes. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, move me. Yep. Spend a pop a candle down. Nice. Well, you instead of using its effects... Oh, I just remove it. Okay. Yeah, which will go here, which will cause a cycle. All right. Can I move again, or is that all my movement? Uh, you have one more move. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do that. Boop. Okay. Cycle. Um, uh, all vagrants adjacent to snow or loss will gain frostbitten. And we're not. We're on neither. Nice. Okay. You can just throw those back in. And then draw. For him. Jerry. Hopefully it's another iron nails, because that means he doesn't move that much. It is! You have to move one space. Oh, damn it. I put it back in. Like you have to move one back towards the uh, the thing, and then he will move one. He's just like bundled up, and he's just like, I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> okay, my turn. Whoop, boop. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come on, boy! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's actually sounded like when Siri yips. <laughs> oh, God. It's kind of, yeah, give me that token. Give it to me! Salt! Uh, add one snow in an open space adjacent to the vagrant, closest to the break side. That's making me cream. <laughs> okay, we both went. Yes. Boom. Oh, see? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, um, one. I think I can. I can make it. Uh, for sure. To, and then it'll just be you. So. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get out of here. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'll do the same thing with my puppies. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Boop, gone. And then, oh, actually, he leaves whenever I leave. So we made it to the exit. Yeah, you made it to the exit. As long as it's not an apple, you should be good. I'm hoping, because the apple would be super annoying. Okay, it's salt again. Is apple the one where it falls on me? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm well. Comfortably numb, and they don't even move. All right. Well, I'm gonna just do a super move. Okay. And candle to remove that. Yep. Candle goes that here. Out of my way. And Ew! I love my puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. I think we'll be good. Okay, it's that. 
Uh, all vagrants move two towards the round side. Uh, then all souls move three, two, three. So haunted. You are haunted. You gain frostbitten. Oof. I'm slowed. All right, your turn. Okay, well, don't move one, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough. Okay, don't move and I'm out of here. You going around him? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Yay! We did it! Okay, <laughs> victory! <laughs> Uh, so, read moment 44. A door up ahead appears out of the blue and immediately swings open, just in time. Whatever lies beyond is better than being overtaken by this frigid storm. Time to get out of here. Uh, if there were no vagrants who became westbound during the scenario, gain the Stay Frosty milepost. Yay! Stay oh, I, I did print off a separate sheet. Okay. After the camp phase, continue to the next scenario on page 45. Badass. So... We actually got a mile post. Uh, so we restore humanity, clean up scenario, yada yada. So we have eight coins nice. to spend because no, nine. Each of these gave us a coin and we have nice. six between us. So we have skill 17 and 18. Left, when you get stung by a bee, gotta make sure to remove the stinger is 17. That is, this is going to sting. Target is a vagrant, range 0 to 3. Rolling bones is based off coins, success 4 or higher. Remove one haint effect from the target. The target loses humanity equal to the number of uh, coins used on this skill. Ooh, it hurts them, but it gets remo removed. It gets rid of effects. And uh, right, there's no shame in hiding every once in a while. Hunker down, you must be adjacent to terrain. Place one of this skill's coins on your current space and remove your Vagrant from the train board. At the start of your turn, place your Vagrant on that space, then remove the coin. That's pretty good if you're constantly getting surrounded. Um, or we start banking. Huh? We start banking. Oh, yeah, you are correct about that, too. Well, let's see what junk... Oh, hey, the cat thing says, Don't you look blue in the face? Cold enough that crying could kill you. It's weather like this that makes you appreciate the rain. Let's spark up a little fire to warm y'all up. What you got to burn? All right, a makeshift radio. This is you may place a coin here if you have a coin here. Haints that start their turn within two gain one humanity. So, we can heal one or fix broken junk. We don't have any. We can rummage, which probably isn't horrible. Start us off with some. We can seance and bank coins. We can acquire a different this junk for three. We can draw a different junk if we want to. Yeah, we, we got a lot of money. We got eight, nine. I definitely like different milestones for banking so much money. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so, um, and we can still can we still spend the banked money? No. Oh. Yeah. No. It's it's um yeah banking is where is that. DC, that strange cat, seems very interested in your coins. Uh, vagrants may choose to bank any number of coins each camp. These coins cannot be used for anything else during the camp phase. If they do, go to the milepost uh, and mark off a number of unmarked boxes. Yeah, once a certain number of coins are banked, vagrants will have access to special moments that may have long-lasting impacts on their game. Ooh. So, yeah, and I don't know what the progress track maybe told oh i think mileposts that we get depending on how many mileposts we get we can get moments that way we only have one <laughs> we got the what was it stay frosty yeah so how many how many coins to like max it out um, like 20 or something Twenty-five. Twenty-five. yeah well nine would be a solid so it did, but I, yes, getting yeah. benefits. To get to, the next, some... to get to the next moment, we are one away. We need ten. Ten to get to the moment? <laughs> yeah, but I definitely don't want to bank all mine on just yeah, and doing nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, rummage tokens are always nice to start off with. They seem to lead yeah. us that way. A seance is always cool. How much does a seance cost? Two. Two. I like the idea of getting that hunker down for her, because if she's targeted twice as much mm -hmm. having the ability to be like i'm gonna get fucked but my dog won't get hit so i can hide okay um but what would i get rid of right <sighs> probably can do attitude i actually always kind of end up going after you um gumption gumption's really good if we plan it it could be a bunch of um 
twist and shout can be good. Yeah, probably can do attitude would be the, the thing I got rid of. But that costs two for me to grab that. So four plus, we want haint effect. And how bad have haint effects been? Like, so frostbitten, um, uh, those kind of things. They've been relatively annoying. Haint effects, being possessed, like, mm. was a haint effect. That fuck doesn't all sound that. too bad, actually. How much do they cost? It costs two. Two? Two each. Do I want a heal effect. It wouldn't be. The thing is, if you target the Vagrant, you hurt them. Right. For removing haint effects. But it does free up, because it's like to get rid of possessed, we have to do certain things and get certain items. So it's mm -hmm. like, freeze us it, up it lets that way. You dodge some of that. Yeah, that's seemed pretty cool. Because I don't. Let loose is nice, but. It's, you have to spend so many coins to make it... Make it worthwhile. Yeah. And then it's like, I could just move that much. Right. Um, it's just the fact that it affects everyone. Right. I feel like Let Loose is better with more players mm -hmm. than a two-player game. I might get rid of that. There's two-step shuffle, which I don't think I've used yet. It's great for if I'm close, I move away, and they get a guaranteed two. Yeah. Um, and just the success is based on how many times I get to move away. Mm-hmm. And it's a pretty <clears throat> solid likelihood that I get to move away. Yeah. Uh, so, it's just, but it's a guaranteed two damage. So that's pretty that's, cool. That's better than let loose, I think. Yeah. And we so can. I yeah. think. I think I will actually buy. This is gonna sting. Just okay. so we have it. Oh shit. What? The arrows. Oh yeah, it's on the right side. Oh so fuck I, yeah, you're right. Two step shuffle. Well, mine works because I'd get rid of can do attitude. Uh, I'm gonna spend two to get hunker down. Okay. So general's orders for each success targeting is one humanity. On three more successes, the next. They're going to take this turn, gains an additional turn. So that one I could possibly give you. Yeah, your starting ones are really good. Yeah. I guess I'll lose two ship trouble. I haven't used it yet. Yeah. And it's like now with this, I'm gonna be a solid melee fighter too. True. Very solid. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's four. Do we so keep it or is it gone forever? I think we keep them okay, off cool, to the cool. side. Like we have like there's like a yeah, the manage vagrants section. <laughs> uh where is it? You might either shape their character by switching out skill or junk cards or choosing a new Vagrant altogether. So, belongings represent junk and common skills that Vagrants aren't actively using but may want to later. Number of junk and skill cards in a belonging is limitless. So, the number of junk... Uh, allowing for players to build their Vagrants how they want as the game continues. And so, we did, we can just have... So, like, we would combine these. Okay. Um... So, so as long as, could use as long as they're common, so once we start getting skills that are specific to us, once they're gone, they're gone. Um. Okay, so that was four out of our nine, so we're down to five. Um. I don't really want the radio. Yeah, me either. So. Oh man, I really like rummaging, but we can always just do that on our mm -hmm. turn if we wanted to start banking. Yeah, you, you want to make the last... You want to do... We have five. Do we want a seance for two and then bank three? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Alrighty. So seance will go there. And then that will be that for the next one. So we will have three. I'll have to grab the sheet. Um, but, so remind me, we bank three. But now, we witness the in-between. Mm -hmm. Never seen the ocean. Nothing but the long stretch of untamed grass flowing together haunting and hypnotizing. It lingers just as much as it passes by. So, A, the fields of long grass turn to ocean waves inviting you in. B, the sound, it shimmers. And C, it's unsettling how easily you are entranced. You turn away. Uh. Got mine. Okay. Um, no yeah. idea how I'm trying to... I, I, I have a pretty good idea of how I want to roleplay her. As okay. Possible. Yeah, I think I might do. All right. A. C. Interesting. Okay. Oh, because you're like an empress. You're like, yeah. no, I'm in charge. Okay. A. You can feel the grass against your fingertips swaying free. At the start of the next scenario, you may place your vagrant within two of where you normally would. Hmm. C. You quickly move ahead, but slip over your own two feet. At the beginning of the scenario, either lose two humanity or reduce your move value by one for the first round. Ew. Reduce my move value by one? For the first round. Okay. Yeah. Or, or lose two humanity. All right. And the next scenario will be a cold wind's a-coming. So, 
Uh, that was that, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the rest of the series. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.